Okay, so you've purchased the domain name and now you want to attach that domain name to a real website. How does that happen? Well, basically websites are hosted on what's called servers. Servers are basically just computers um, and you have in your web the files that make up your website are hosted on those computers. So that's what hosting is. So basically your job is to find a company that provides reliable hosting services. So the hosting company I recommend, especially for just getting started, is HostGator. HostGator basically does all of the things that I just mentioned and they do a great job of making sure everything works out for you. So hosting for, with HostGator starts as low as $4.95 um, or you can get an, um, a, the most popular one which is $7.95 but the one I have is this reseller account which is $24.95 and so basically the reseller hosting allows you to have unlimited sites and it's as if each website has its own hosting sandbox like it's as if it, you get a different account for each website that you have so that's the one I recommend but you could go as low as the 495 if you just have one site um, and it works just fine so ordering it is very simple I'm not gonna take you through the whole order process but I do recommend using their coupon code because you get a little discount okay now I want to show you how to hook up your hosting account with your domain name that we've purchased and that is very easy once they're hooked up now you can basically, through a, a process called FTP or File Transfer Protocol, you can take website files and shuttle them from your PC to your hosting company. And so basically your website will be live on the internet attached to the domain name that you chose. It's a very, very easy process. So I'll show you how to do that. Once you've made a purchase, you'll get an email from HostGator that basically gives you some connection information. So once I have that connection information, I basically logged in to my hosting management console. And so if you buy the reseller account, this is how it's going to look. Um, and if you buy another account, it may look a little different, but the concept is basically the same. So for this, I want to create a new account. And I'm basically going to just type in the exact information that I did with GoDaddy. So I have three days to cash system.com. That's the domain name I registered. And I'm going to create a basic username and password. Um, in fact, I'll go ahead and generate a password. So this is just a very complicated password. Um, that's very hard to guess. Let me copy that to my clipboard because I'll need it later. And then I'll just type an email address, my personal email address, so that if they need to send me anything, it can happen. Now, obviously, I'm about, I'm going to change this password as soon as the video is done, so don't go hacking into my account. So basically, I'm going to choose a package. These are packages that I previously set up, and this basically... Um, you can set up packages that have parameters of what the hosting accounts are allowed. So you can allot a certain amount of space, different parameters, but the defaults work just fine. All of these are irrelevant. And basically now we are going to create it. Okay, so once you've created your account, it basically handles all of the technical details of hooking up your domain name to your hosting account. There's one final step to make sure the connection occurred and after that your entire hosting is completely set up. So this is just all of the um, checks that they did and the confirmation that it's taken care of. You want to take note of your username and your password because we're going to use that information to shuttle over files from your PC to your website so that you can maintain and update your website. Okay, so to connect your website to your domain name, so to connect your hosting a company to your domain name, the final step is to hook up your name servers. First. So basically we take name server one and name server two and we hook it up to your domain name. So all name servers do is it just tells your .com name 
this is where the website is hosted. That's all it does. It just acts as a connector. So name servers, we're going to copy name server one and just keep note that name server two is NS 550 in the same thing. So we just copied it to our clipboard and now we're going to go back to GoDaddy. Okay, so GoDaddy, we're logged in and we're basically going to go to the domain names and we're going to just insert that information into the domain name and that's all we need to do. So here's the one I just purchased. So I'm going to click on that. And then here are the current name servers and we just need to replace that out with the one that we want. And that's it. So here I will say I host my domains with another provider. Paste. And then I will remember that it was NS550 for the number two. And I changed that to NS550. This process is exactly the same every time you register a new name and set up a new hosting account. So once you can get through this process once, it becomes very, very easy every time. So we'll hit OK. And that's all that happens. We hit OK again. And it said it'll take a few minutes. And generally, I've found that it's, it's relatively instant when the connection takes place. So we'll go ahead and check right now to see if it works. Remember, what we just did is we attached our domain name to our hosting company. So let's type it in, 3days2cashsystem.com and see if something shows up. And there we have it. This illustrates that it has been connected. If it hadn't been connected, we would have seen a GoDaddy parking page. So it has been connected to our hosting account. So now our job is to take files or websites from off of our computer and FTP them or file transfer them over to our hosting account and they will all hook up.